when the Nazis invaded Holland. My father was rounded up never to return from Auschwitz. My mother and I went into hiding. We were captured. Powerful stories of horror and heroism get a new home in Cincinnati. Good evening. Our area's way to remember the Holocaust and learn from it is moving to the Museum Center at Union Terminal from a much smaller facility. Local 12's Jeff Hurst shows us why the new location has a significant symbolic link to the past. The Holocaust, Adolf Hitler's effort to exterminate the Jews, six million murders. Cincinnati is getting a new place to remember. Keep going. A symbolic groundbreaking or wall breaking this morning for the new home for the Holocaust and Humanity Center in Museum Center at Union Terminal. More room for more exhibits about those who did not make it out of Europe in the 30s and 40s and those who did. I am a child survivor. I was born in Holland, the Netherlands. If you're familiar with the story of Anne Frank, you're looking at the same story with a happy ending in that I'm here in Cincinnati being able to tell the story. Anne Frank was a teenager at the time, so she was able to write a diary. I was between the ages of four and six. Henry's father was killed at the Auschwitz death camp. He and his mother were sent to another camp, Bergen-Belsen. But by a miracle, my mother and I survived. It's fitting that the Holocaust Center will be in a train station. The symbolism is huge. Union Terminal's cornerstone was installed in 1931 as Adolf Hitler was assembling power power which would ultimately see millions of Jews herded onto trains. In a few months when this opens, this part of the museum actually almost where I'm standing today, there will be an installation called Deportation that will talk about what trains meant to those who actually had to board a train for an unknown destination, and in many cases, death. But trains in Union Terminal were forces for good bringing survivors to the new American homes, and before that, taking American GIs off to fight the Nazis. I am alive because the liberators eventually won. It's easy to simply call this place the Holocaust Center, not really wrong, but there's another word in the title, and that word is very, very important because it references the need to take the lessons of the past and apply them to the present and the future. Holocaust and Humanity Center. Humanity is a key word in there. I think it's an incredible opportunity. People who will never heard of the Holocaust will walk to the museum to see the children's section, some exhibit, and will stumble on this and will learn something very important. Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News. The museum center is undergoing a $225 million renovation. Union Terminal is scheduled to reopen in November with various exhibits phased in after that. The Holocaust and Humanity Center expects to open in January. The center is moving from its previous home at Rockburn Jewish Academy in Sycamore Town.